Hello, I'm Professor Michael Miller. I'm a cardiologist and professor of medicine at the hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about the implications of hypertriglyceridemia on cardiometabolic health. Now, the optimal fasting triglyceride levels are less than 100 milligrams of triglyceride per deciliter of blood, or less than approximately 1.1 millimoles per liter. At this level, it indicates an efficient ability to process fat. And what we mean by that is that we have our enzymes that uh, actively break down fat, hydrolyze fat, notably lipoprotein lipase. Now, once the triglyceride levels are between 150 to 199 milligrams per deciliter, we're seeing a mild impairment in that ability to process fat. We call this borderline elevated fasting triglyceride levels. Th these levels, we might start to see some semblance of the metabolic syndrome. The metabolic syndrome consists of having at least three of the five following metabolic factors. We've already talked about triglycerides, but also low levels of the good cholesterol or HDL, having an elevated waist circumference, having some degree of uh, elevation in blood pressure, as well as uh, an increase in your fasting glucose level. Now, as we go up the threshold of triglycerides, entering a level somewhere between 200 to 499 milligrams per deciliter, we view that as high fasting triglyceride levels, and this indicates more of a moderate impairment in the ability to process fat. And individuals that live at these levels for uh, uh, long periods of time are clearly at higher risk of cardiovascular disease. When we get to very high or severe hypertriglyceridemia, we define that as levels of at least 500 milligrams per deciliter. And while the increased risk of cardiovascular disease peaks somewhere at about 600 milligrams per deciliter, we get more concerned as levels accentuate to above 1,000 milligrams per deciliter because of the increased potential risk of pancreatitis. So high levels, when we get again above 500, we're not only concerned about uh, metabolic abnormalities, which might include so-called MASH, or metabolic dysfunction associated steatohepatitis, which is uh, buildup of fat in the liver, uh, but also, again, pancreatitis, which can be a life-threatening condition. We've talked about some of the residual risk factors for heart disease, so being overly sedentary, having some other metabolic abnormalities, whether it's thyroid, whether it's kidney, uh, taking some medications that may promote hypertriglyceridemia, all can influence one's triglyceride levels.